Welcome back, everybody, to what may very well be the last part of Let's Play Overlord. We are getting ready to go in and face the final boss. He's actually fairly easy and a little disappointing, at least after how good of a fight they did with the wizard. Do you know what it's like to be forgotten, sub-creature? Once my name was spoken in whispers, it brought dread to this land. Now that petulant goddess wishes my name lost in the mists of time. No more! I will awaken their nightmares, their darkest memories. They will remember me, and they will remember what they feared! So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put all of the reds I have back into the spawning pit and replace them with browns. Uh, I'm not going to need anything but browns during this fight. And you just want to stay back against the wall so that you stay out of the reach as if he comes sweeping through with an arm like that. And then you want to kind of wait for him to do that. You may have to step forward to taunt him into doing it. And then send just a couple minions forward. And if he rears back like what he just did, pull them back. And he's going to get stuck on the ground. And he's going to be open for attacks. And now he is mad. And he's going to start doing a different attack where he just comes lunging straight forward all the way up to the wall. And what you want to do is get over near one of the columns so that when he comes after you, he'll actually hit and destroy the column. Now I have a couple of wraiths to kill. But other than that, I am ready to just repeat exactly what I did already. But, of course, with the column that's on the other side. So get back away from him again. Send just a couple minions forward. Pull them back. Hopefully he's going to do that attack instead of swinging his arm. If he swings his arm, you want to pull him back anyway, of course. Because he will kill them. You really want him to do that attack so that you can get onto him and get him mad again so that he'll start doing the lunge attack. And then you'll just get all of your minions up against the wall. And that way this is where he'll attack and he'll have to break another column. Go ahead and refill the minions I've lost. And now he actually ducks down out of the way and summons up a handful of race for you to have to deal with. It's a real simple fight, considering that you had to fight through this same basic kind of thing a dozen times over. On each side of you, there were three of the normal race and one of the larger ones. And then he comes up, and it's basically the same thing as before, with two minor differences. The first one is that he will do this attack and suck several of your minions into him and just flat out kill them. I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting my minions forward to taunt him because there's some equipment here that they're wanting to pick up instead. And then while you're piling on to him here, he will probably go ahead and summon a couple of wraiths to fight you. He did not this time, I'm not sure why. And now you can't actually go with your minions to reach the two columns that are left. So, this is the other variation. You do just need to get where you have a good view of the column and send all of your minions out on their own. Except you need them all kind of standing up to have a good chance of controlling all of them. This is a place where the sweeping motion not working well is a bit of a problem. 
going to go ahead and put the ones I've got back there on a marker in the right place. And then try to send all of the others to join them. I also lost a lot of minions there. But considering he did the attack where he gets stuck on the ground, I don't know that he is enraged anymore. So we're going to have to do this whole cycle again, it looks like. This fight went much smoother for me the first time, so don't think it's as hard as what I'm making it look like. Or maybe it is and I got lucky last time. I don't know, this is only my second time playing it. I'm going to go ahead and try to send my minions back to stand behind the pillar again. And they are back there set to do it. Hopefully he'll attack that group instead of the two that are over here. I'm going to go ahead and send them back just to try to increase the chances of it. There we go. Now I can call them back out here to me. And I'm going to go ahead and replenish all the ones that have died. And we're ready to do it one last time. With how long this fight has taken me this time, though, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit the credits in this video, so there will be one more after this. And I'm going ahead and calling them off. Hopefully that's enough to make you mad. And that way I can have them all as one big mass to move back there, except... Some stopped to pick up equipment, so they did not all move together again. Which means he's got multiple targets and can go after the wrong ones again. It looks like he's going after the right ones now. And that should be it. do not like their choice here of that they set this up just like the other fights where you finish him with one sword strike. I kind of like that while there were other bosses in the game, only the corrupted heroes had this happen. So I kind of wish they hadn't done it with this guy. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here though and we will finish him off and see all of the results in the next video.